After experiencing a spectacular solar eclipse, people worldwide will now be witnessing a lunar eclipse on July 4th and 5th of year 2020. However, since this will be a penumbral lunar eclipse, it will be hard to see, as the moon will only be a bit fainter. The lunar eclipse will be visible across much of North America, South America, South or West Europe, much of Africa, Indian Ocean, Pacific, Antarctica and Atlantic. The penumbral lunar eclipse will start at around 8.37 am IST on July 5th and will go on till 11.22 am IST. Lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth comes between the Sun and the Moon. Lunar eclipses occur at the time of the full moon and when the moon is near at one of the nodes of intersection between its orbit and the ecliptic plane. Earth's shadow can be divided into two distinctive parts, the umbra and penumbra. Earth totally occludes direct solar radiation within the umbra, the central region of the shadow. However, since the sun's diameter appears about one quarter of Earth's in the lunar sky, the planet only partially blocks direct sunlight within the penumbra, the outer portion of the shadow. Earth's umbra is larger than the whole moon, so one will observe either a total eclipse by umbra which can be well observed, a partial eclipse by the umbra and penumbra or a total or partial eclipse by penumbra only. The duration of lunar eclipse is much longer than a solar eclipse and can take as much as 6 hours. So there are three kinds of lunar eclipse depending upon the umbra or the penumbra from where the moon is passing. They are penumbral, partial and total lunar eclipse. The penumbral lunar eclipse occurs when the moon passes through Earth's penumbra. The penumbra causes a subtle dimming of the lunar surface, which is only visible to naked eye when about 70% of moon's diameter has immersed into Earth's penumbra. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when only a portion of moon enters Earth's umbra. And a total lunar eclipse occurs when the entire moon enters the planet's umbra. In practice, the lunar eclipse conditions are modified due to the refraction of the sun's rays by Earth's atmosphere. This refraction allows some light to penetrate the cone of geometric umbra. So even total lunar eclipse, the lunar disk is not completely dark. All total eclipses start with a penumbral followed by a partial eclipse and end with a partial followed by a penumbral eclipse. During total lunar eclipse, indirect sunlight manages to reach an illuminate moon which remains completely within Earth's umbral shadow. The sunlight must first pass deep through the Earth's atmosphere which filters out most of the blue-colored light. The remaining light is a deeper red or orange in color and is much dimmer than pure white sunlight. Earth's atmosphere also bends or refracts some of this light so that a small fraction of it can reach and illuminate the moon, giving a particular reddish light during the total lunar eclipse. The total phase of lunar eclipse is so interesting and beautiful precisely because of the filtering and refracting effect of Earth's atmosphere. Unlike solar eclipses, lunar eclipses are completely safe to watch. You do not need any kind of protective filters. It isn't even necessary to use a telescope. You can watch the lunar eclipse with nothing more than your own two eyes.